everyone welcome back to another video do i look any different because i do not like the way i look right now so yesterday i straight razored for the first time in around three years i think and i was thinking it was going to make me look younger but i think it makes me look a little older i cannot stay in the way i look right now so i can't wait for this to grow out a little bit i've never been able to grow a full beard but i always have like a little scruff so today is going to be a very busy day because we go out of town tomorrow to spend a week with mine and shelby's family for easter so i woke up today and did some editing before the kids got up and did 45 minutes of cardio up on the elliptical and then we gave the kids an early Easter basket. Brady, who came to see you? Who Easter came? Bunny. The Easter Bunny came? Yeah. What? Is that your basket? What's yeah. in there? New shoes to yeah. ride your scooter? Yeah. Oh, that's a chocolate egg, Brady. <laughs> Kinley's so happy. Not yet. We'll see what else is in there first. Oh, a new game. We're gonna have to plug that up to the TV. Yeah. She's like, what you get? Kinley. You got a new book? <laughs> Mom, Dad. Mom, this. And this, this is for the bath. Egg. Look at that egg. Oh my goodness, that's a huge egg. Is that a dino egg? Yeah. There's a dino egg. There's an Easter there. egg. <laughs> no, that's a dino egg. <laughs> The yeah. dino. Yeah. <laughs> like, Don't mind oh, if I do. Yeah, can you eat it? Can you eat it? Uh, let's. Oh my. <laughs> okay. <laughs> let's share, okay? Because this is really, really big. Okay? Please not sharing. Yeah. <laughs> can't oh yum. <laughs> Best dino <laughs> present she's ever gotten. She's like, I'm out of here. So now it's 10 o'clock and I still haven't eaten breakfast. So we're gonna go over there and whip up some breakfast real quick. So now that breakfast is ready, I'm gonna enjoy this before having to do a lot of stuff to get ready to leave because we gotta leave really early tomorrow. We're gonna leave probably around seven o'clock and I have to wake up and do cardio before we get on the road because I'm gonna be sitting down all day long so I need to do some kind of activity. And the reason why we need to leave so early is because we do not wanna hit Austin rush hour. So one thing I do before going out of town is make sure that I have all my pills ready to go in my pill container so I don't have to take every one of these containers with me. Yeah. Who brought you this new game? The Easter Bunny? Yeah. So the Easter Bunny brought him a new TV game. This is gonna be fun. And a shower thing. So this game is supposed to be educational, but it looks to me like it is a knockoff Mario. <laughs> but Shelby's like, they learn words, they learn letters and all that stuff. So that might be true, but he's still gonna have to have a time limit for this game. Oh. Okay, so now I'm upstairs doing some video editing and my setup upstairs is just so nice to get done with a lot of editing very quickly because when I go downstairs with the kids, it's great being down there with them, but I can't edit that quick. And up here, I have two screens and then I have my mouse and keyboard so I can get stuff done way 
faster. Now, this last vlog that I posted was probably the longest editing time I've ever had on a vlog as far as color correcting because I had to go individually on each clip to color correct and kind of change the saturation on each clip. So I'm gonna have to find a faster way of doing this because before with all my vlogs, I used the color that came out of the camera and it didn't take me any time to color correct. But now that I'm messing around with the S log and stuff like that, I have to color correct everything. So I'm really hoping that it's worth doing all this color correcting. If I don't really see a difference in this video, I might just go back to the colors that come out of the camera. It really depends. So let's go ahead and talk about the topic of this video and that's gonna be on my opinion on what is going on in this industry. So just the other day, two days ago, we had Cedric McMillan die and speculation is that he had a heart attack. We haven't had that confirmed yet, but more than likely that's what it was. So do I think is a coincidence that in the past year to two years, all these bodybuilders are just dying all over the place? Absolutely not. I think you'd be crazy to think it is just a coincidence that all of a sudden all these people are dying when we have this pandemic. Now, do I think it's it's the big C word. I'm gonna call it the C word because YouTube will flag apparently when people talk about the C word. So you guys know when I say the C word, what I'm referring to. I don't know if it's directly from the C word because we don't really know what long-term effects it has on people. We just see when they get it, you know, they have symptoms for a little bit and then most of the time people get over it. So we don't know what exactly it does long-term. And with bodybuilders, of course, when they're not natural, they already have a preconditioned heart problem because when you take steroids, when you're not natural, it affects your heart already. So these people are getting the C word after they already have heart conditions from all the steroids they're using so that maybe that has a big effect on them. And then a lot of speculation is on the jab. So people are saying, okay, all these people probably has gotten the jab and that's the reason why they're dying. No one really knows. I'm not a doctor and this is just my opinion on it. I just think it's way too much of a coincidence that all of a sudden we have all these deaths and these are just deaths that we're seeing as famous bodybuilders. We're not seeing all the regular gym goers that are taking steroids and I'm sure they're dying just as much. We just don't see them. And this is not just for old men that are just dying. These are young bodybuilders 20s all the way up to like 60 years old we've had and they're men and women it's not just men so something is going on right now I'm telling you if I was taking steroids right now I would be scared to death I would have to reconsider everything that I'm doing in my life so that I could have a family that I could live a long life because we don't really know what is going on and all these people are just dying it would be super super scary so let me tell you I am so glad that I'm now Natural because if I fell over dead right now from a heart attack or just fell over dead, my family, I know it was not from taking steroids. I don't know what kind of research is being done right now to figure this out because I'm sure people are researching this because this is just abnormal that this many people in the fitness industry are just dying. So I do not think it's a coincidence. I can't say whether or not exactly what it is because we don't know long-term what either one of those, the jab, or the big C it's having on people. We just know that taking drugs and steroids and all these people that have been dying recently are not natural. So that's the one thing we know for sure that they have in common. So it's very scary if you're a bodybuilder right now, if you're not natural. So I'm just hoping we find some kind of answer so that people aren't gonna continue to die. So got done with a little bit of editing. I still got a lot more to do because I need to finish up the vlog and then I need to finish up some workouts that I need to post on Instagram while I drive tomorrow. So I gotta get at least two of them done so that I can post on Friday and Saturday. So I just got done cooking chicken and this is the best way in my opinion to cook chicken because you can just throw it in the air fryer and you don't have to worry about it. So you just season it up. I just got done in here and it looks amazing so i've been using some seasoning that is called like ranch seasoning that we bought at walmart and it is really really good so i'm gonna make another one of my big wraps that i pretty much have every single day so today i'm gonna be having two wraps because these are lower calories these are 50 calories per wrap and they're not as big as the other ones that i like to have but they're still decent size wraps here so i have some sour cream light sour cream that i'm gonna put on first so i can smooth it out i don't want too much because of course the more you use, the more calories it's gonna be. Which per serving, two tablespoons is only 40 calories, so not that bad. And then we're gonna put half the chicken on this wrap here. That's good. Then I also cooked up some red and yellow peppers. 
Now I'm gonna add half of the pepper jack cheese so that I can use the other half on the other one. So now I'm gonna dump a ton of this coleslaw all over the wrap. Oh man, that looks good. And then I'm gonna add some of this Greek ranch dressing. And there you have it. I'm gonna do it one more time to have one more wrap. Look how good those two things look. I hope that they taste as good as what they look because oh my gosh, those look incredible. And then I'm also gonna add some of these baked potato chips with sour cream and onion. So today is leg day. Got my pre-workout all ready to go, the Shatter Elite. I'm gonna be sipping on it when I head to the gym. So I got a comment in my last video saying that they haven't seen a leg day in a long time and that's not a comment you see very often because most people don't really like leg day. So I'm hoping that today's leg workout is gonna be really good. It really depends right now on if my leg days are good or not. Like some workouts are super good. Like the last workout I did was really, really good. And then the next workout will be like garbage because my knee will start hurting or my hip will start hurting. So I never know how I'm gonna feel until I go into the gym and like start warming up. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. So I got a brand new microphone and that's what I'm recording on right now. So if it sounds any different, well, I hope it sounds different. I hope it sounds a whole lot better. So I upgraded my equipment. So let's go ahead and get started on this workout. Now, first off, a little warning. This leg day is super, super intense. It is very high reps and a lot of volume. So if you're not used to this type of training, I would suggest cutting uh, the sets in half and you're still gonna get an incredible workout. So the very first exercise is a superset. It is a superset between leg extensions and hack squats. So I did four total sets. Now the rep range here on leg extensions was 30 reps. So I was going for as many reps as I could get. Now I was using pretty heavy weight. And then when I would hit failure for around maybe 15 to 20 reps, then I would rest for around eight to 10 seconds and then go at it again. Now I would do as many of those little pause rest sets as needed until I got to 30 reps. And then I would superset with the hack squat and I was going for 25 reps here on the hack squat. And let me tell you, this was super, super hard to do going back to back without resting in between those two exercises. And once I got done with the hack squat, I would only rest for around 60 seconds and it was the exact same thing that I did on leg extensions that I'm doing on hack squat so I would go to failure without stopping and then I would rest for around as you see up at the top of the movement for around I don't know five to ten seconds until I could do more reps now I never racked the weight until I got to the total 25 reps and I was dying at the end of this like it was super super intense to go for that many reps with heavier weight I wasn't going just super lightweight where I could easily do you know there's 25 reps I was going as heavy as I could get for around 15 reps without stopping and then I would do those mini pauses in between those sets now in between the sets I would actually do something else to make it even more intense I would stretch out my quads so what I would do is just lean forward and stretch my quads out as much as possible in between these rounds and I was going for around anywhere from 15 seconds to around 30 seconds in the stretch and then I would go into the leg extensions again after that went into back squats I did four sets of 20 reps and 20 reps is not something I normally do on back squats I will normally stick around 15 reps and below because anytime I go over uh, 15 reps a lot of the times my lower back starts to hurt uh, but I wanted to do uh, higher reps for this workout so I needed to change it up a little bit and so I stuck at 185 pounds for three sets out of the four and then on the fourth set which I did not record I went up to 225 pounds now I didn't go really heavy here because the last few sets on squats my knee was starting to hurt a good bit I didn't want to do anything that that's going to injure my knee. After that, went into a leg press. I did five sets. Yeah, five sets. I really just hate myself sometimes because I just think of workouts that is just gonna kill me. And I did five sets of 30 reps. Yeah, 30 reps on leg press after doing all that. And I was doing the exact same thing I did on hack squats. So I would pick a weight that I was hitting failure for around 15 to 20 reps without stopping. And then I would rest up at the top of the leg press for around five to 10 seconds until I was able to get out a few more reps. And I did that until I got a total of 30 reps. And let me tell you, after like the third set of 30 reps, 
Oh, the burn is unreal. Like the lactic acid buildup in your legs is crazy. And you're gonna feel so much pain in your legs. You just have to push through doing high reps. And this is something, like I said earlier on in this workout that I'm not really used to, but I really wanted to change things up. And that's the reason why I was doing it throughout this workout. And for a couple of days after this workout, I was extremely sore. After that, went into lying hamstring curls. I did four sets of 20 reps. And then on the the last two sets I did a paused rest set on both of those because I was staying with the exact same weight but as the sets went on of course I'm not going to be able to get the exact same reps so uh, for the third set I was only able to get out maybe like 15 reps. And so I would do a pause rest set until I got to the 20 reps. And then on the fourth set, the final set, I was only able to get out 12 reps. And so I would pause rest until I got those total 20 reps. After that, went into the last superset. It's seated hamstring curls superset with body weight walking lunges. Now for the seated hamstring curls, I did right at four sets for 20 reps. And then for the lunges, I did 15 to 20 reps on each lunge leg and let me tell you body weight lunges after doing all these other exercises was a killer so the reason why i didn't work calves at the end or at the beginning of this workout is because i work calves throughout the week so every other day i will swap between either working calves or abs so this particular day i worked uh, abs in the morning and then uh, the next day after this i work calves so i work calves all by itself and that is normally after doing cardio but guys that's the end of the workout i hope you enjoyed it if you want to give this workout a try it'll be written down in the description box thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoy the rest of the video just made home from that workout now i'm taking my creatine i'm not going to have protein powder because we're going to be eating here in a second so i ran by the grocery store because we don't really have that much food right now because we're going out of town so i ran in there and grabbed some salads and these pre-made salads at heb are incredible well most of the time anyways if they're fresh i have to check them because sometimes the avocado is a little brown and stuff but they had some really good ones so i grabbed two of these for me and shelby and then shelby's cooking the kids some fish sticks and some french fries i know really healthy <laughs> so the creatine I'm taking the Celtec hyper build which is five grams of creatine so Shelby when I walked in already had the house cleaned up pretty much and the luggage sitting by the front door so we're pretty much ready to go I still have to pack but at least oh and see how we got the meals already done inside the cooler so those are my meals ready to go so that's awesome so I'm gonna have two meals prepared for me on the drive. So tomorrow morning, I'm gonna wake up, do cardio, and then I'm gonna have my protein waffles, which I can make here at the house before leaving because it literally takes probably 10 minutes. And then I have one wrap that she already has prepared, and then I'm gonna have one of those stuffed peppers that we made, what, last night or two nights ago? Yeah. Which is gonna be great to carry along because they're very easy to eat. So tonight, got the bowl, that's the size of my head, for the salads, a serving bowl. So this is Shelby's leftover lettuce, put that in there. And then my huge salad. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look how big that is. And we're gonna be using the ranch dressing now. Probably we'll even add more lettuce than that. Check that out. That is one big salad. What's great about salads is you can add as much lettuce as you want really and the calories, you know, it's really low in calories. So you really don't have to worry about adding too much lettuce. So we're gonna sit down with the kids over there. They're already over there picking out on food. <laughs> So I've been outside packing the car up and Shelby's been doing some last minute things, the dishes and stuff. And Brady comes up to us and is like, I gotta go to bed because he knows. Brady, come here. Where are you going tomorrow? I go to Lolly Pop. He's going to Lolly Pop. So he knows that he's got to go to bed in order for us to uh, leave tomorrow. So he's all excited. I don't think he's going to be able to sleep tonight. He's probably going to go up there and just lay in bed because he's going to be so excited. If only Kinley knew where she was going tomorrow, it'd make the drive so much better for her because Brady now would just push through it. Like he's like, let's go, go, go. Like last time, me and Shelby asked him, did he want to go get donuts? And he said, no, we got to keep going. So we literally did not stop for donuts or anything because he just wanted to get there. All right, Kinley, tell my vlog night-night. Say bye. Bye-bye, Brady. Tell him night-night. Bye, night-night. 
So the kids are off to bed and we're pretty much all packed up, believe it or not, it's nine o'clock. That is impressive. I do have a couple more things to put outside, like my supplements and stuff. Anytime I go down to see my family, I ask my brothers, do they need any supplements? Because I always have a ton just laying around for muscle tech. So I just bring them whatever they need. But guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And one other thing, this might be the last vlog for a little bit because when we go down to see my family, I'm not sure. I say that every single time. I'm gonna try to vlog while I'm down there, but that hardly ever happens. I will be getting a ton of workouts up on my Instagram. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, you need to be doing that if you wanna see consistent workouts. But guys, thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys, peace. Brady, stop. So one thing I always get as much as I can on this rack. So now, please, shh.